Now, during the process, this is what I see. I feel my battery is charging. I feel things begin to move. The 7,000 channels, the 72,000 Qi meridian channels, Qi channels begin to slowly open. I feel energized. I feel tremendous energy. I feel everything's open. Because when you open, everything begins to flow, begin to balance, begin to transmit, begin to organize, begin to communicate, begin to, to connect. You feel the love from the universe. You feel the love from, from nature. What is love over here? The love is the connection. The love is the passion. The love is totally connected. Independently connect, connected. That intimate connection is means you are part of him. He is part of you. You're part of her. She's part of you. You're part of the nature. That nature is part of you. That a close to that. Without divisions, without separations, without conflicts, with, without you and me, without theories, without this indoctrination, without religion, without, without nationality, without race, without age, without any of that culture. You say, well, you tell a tiger. You say, well, what is your culture? What did, what did, what did the tiger tell you? If you tell the, ask a tiger have the, what, what a culture he has, what kind of religion does he have? You ask a monkey, what a religion does, do you have? You, you ask the whale, well, what kind of religion you have? What kind of culture you have? What kind of race you have? What kind of division you have? What kind of nationality do you have? Have you asked those questions? It's all beings. It's all sentient beings. It is that passion, that compassion of love in all sentient beings. Kung Fu. A lot of people think that Kung Fu is a fight. Oh, that's nothing to do with the fight. Original Kung Fu is about yourself. It's about your, your Kung, your Fu. Your practice of that opening, your cultivation of the height, high, height of that consciousness of the height, your practice of the arts, your practice of your body, your practice of your mind, your practice to express your emotions, you practice to express that essence of your body and soul. Your practice of your adapt adaptability in any culture, any religion, any race, any places on earth or out of earth. That is what Kung Fu is about. Kung is the practice, that cultivation, that Meditation. That is Kung Fu. What is Fu? Fu means the consistency, the persistency, never give up. You'll always be the same. Doesn't matter 100 years or 50 years or another life, you remain the same. Without today, you, you got accept, excited tomorrow or you already become, next day you quarrel. Next, another day you listen to some divisions, some nationalities, some religious divisions. Oh, I'm a Catholic, I'm a, a Presbyterian, I'm a Assembly of God, I'm a Mormon, I'm a, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Buddhist, I'm a, you know, whatever. There are thousands of these divisions. You're a thousand kind of human beings. Think about it. Think about the thousands of divisions of, of 
these religions. And the different churches also believe that you know, have different, different things. I joined in a Baptist church in, in, in Mobile, you know? The College Hill, totally different way to, to preach than Spring Hill College. And the Spring, uh, Spring, Spring Hill Baptist Church teaches similar and different than the First Baptist Church. The Presbyterian of College Hill, that's what uh, our beloved Randy, you know, doing music. It's different from the Presbyterian Church I do in China, or even the different from uh, The church I went to, I taught for 10 years of Tai Chi in New Orleans. The covenant of New Orleans Catholic Church, Catholic, is different from the Spring Hill College I was there for more than 10 years. You see, if you say different, everyone has some difference. But the essence of the people are the same. Who say, I don't want to be loved. I don't want to get health. I don't want to get wellness. I don't want to get a happiness. I want a lot of disease. People, do, do people say that? People, say, people really from the bottom of the heart, do they want, really want that? Want that stress, want that division, want that conflict, want that fight. You choose. It's a life. We, each of us, we make that choice. We make that connection. We make that division. We make that society. This society, this is so much mess. Everybody think, okay, because of this, because of, you know, Donald Trump, or because of Obama, because of Bush. Is he your dad? Is uh, you know, is he your teacher? Is he your authority? Is he, what, what is he? Is he guided everything of life? Why you give all the authority to that person? What about yourself? What is the res responsibility in yourself? The society is made by each of us. The society is so messy, each of us is responsible. The society, society is so panic. It's each of us contributed to that panic action, to that messy signals. Without all these messy signals, the society won't be so panic. Won't be full of, won't be full of such a fear. Do something. What I suggest is. Start from yourself, not about anybody else. Start from yourself. You are the most important one because you can do something by yourself. Nobody else. That's what I say. Meditation is the key. Meditation is that inner, inner spirit. Meditation is that inner cultivation. Meditation is the inner route. Meditation is that inner observation. Meditation is that inner watching. Meditation is the inner voice you are tapping into. Thank you. All right, let's do a little bit of Zen Tego. Okay, what I say, Zen, Zen is mean what? Zen is not a Australian temple, the martial arts. You know, people who sit for the Zen calendar, okay, they think everything is the East. Zen over here means what? Means the freedom of the body, freedom of the mind. Is that an infinite freedom? Is that a meditation? It's an unlimited. Free yourself. Te, what is Te? Te is the my, macro. In the infinite macro, the infinite micro doesn't matter how big how small that tag taiji large doesn't matter how large billion years 
50 billion years, 100 billion years, 200, 2, 2 billion, 2 billion, 2 trillion years, it doesn't matter. We say, where's the 2 trillion years? The, 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 the Big Bang is only 100. 40, 130, 440 billion years. Or oh, 13 billion years. Doesn't matter. Because before the Big Bang, we, before another Big Bang, what I say is let's say we, we see the multiverse. So we see the uh, symmetry of the of the universe, the simula sim sim simulation of the universe, or different uh, uh, div dimensions of the universe. Doesn't matter we go from science. From the Zen, from the Taoist, from a, from a Shaolin temple, from anywhere, it's the same thing. Human beings develop from that origin. That origin is that Tai. Tai. Okay, you can relate to Tai Chi. You can relate to the infinite universe. You can relate to the infinite micro. You can relate to the gravitational waves, you know, designed by Einstein. From the math mathematical standpoint of view, you can start from the the, the mind of Neil Bohr, which he he came up with what he came up with the Tai Chi. Actually, his idea of the, the quantum entanglement came from Tai Chi and uh, Buddhist philosophy. He came up with, from that idea, he penetrated into the yin and yang. He penetrated the, into the infinite universe, that uh, conscious voice without location, without distance, without time. Time, space, it's a frame of, made up by us. So that's why he put the emblem that Holland, that Neil Bohr's Institute, Institute of Quantum Physics, that institute with the emblem of yin and yang, with the emblem of Zen ideas. Before he passed away, he even emphasized people need to get into that. This is ancient, but it's modern because it's nothing ancient. It is continuous in human history, continuous in the universe, continuous in nature. It is only we recognize in different divisions, different times, different things, different framework, and we see differently, recognize differently. But it's always there. Just like what I teach over here, what I share here. This is everything over here is already in the universe. Everything here is already exists, has been existing, exists, is existing, ex existing the whole time. Only we recognize it. Our mind sometimes recognizes it. But when we drive deep into the consciousness, drive, drive deep into the state of the mind, drop deep into the soul, drop deep into that supreme consciousness. You know, a lot of us, we, can God, we call God. Some people call the Buddha mind. Some people call supreme wisdom. Everybody calls differently, but that essentially, it is the same. That origin, that origin of the universe. All right, thank you.